Let me know when you want to start. Here we are with the Coastal Virginia Auto Show. And we're here with the owner of this beautiful S10 pickup. What's your name, sir? How you doing? My name's Phil Gullage. I'm from Culpeper, Virginia. Okay. This is my 94 S10 mm -hmm. uh, tube chassis. We call it the Pro Mouse with a uh, small block Chevrolet. Pro Mouse. Why do you call it the Pro Mouse? Well, they call the big block Chevrolets a rat. Oh. So the small block Chevrolet, they always call it the mouse. So gotcha. this is a big, a big mouse. That's a beast. So this is a 355 cubic inch short deck. 30 over 350 makes it 355 inches. It is a uh, Littlefield 871 high helix, uh, 120 degree root supercharger. Right now it's 10% overdriven, makes about 18 pounds of boost at 7,000 RPM. Um, that's going through a billet two disc clutch and a Linko four speed transmission. Awesome. Run it on 16 EFI fuel injectors controlled by a FuelTech FT600. See, there's your Linko. Yes, Linko. sir. Linko CS1, four speed. All the levers a man could ever need. Controls. Yep, and this is a clutch car. It has a man pedal in it. There you go. The way they should be. All three. I was wondering what that third one was for. Exactly. You don't see them much anymore. You don't see them much anymore. Uh, this is a Tim McAmis chassis kit built at home in a two-car garage. If it looks like carbon fiber in there, it is carbon fiber. Nice. Uh, the floors are carbon and titanium. The firewall is titanium. Everything behind it is carbon and titanium. It's steel roof and quarters, and that's about it. Everything else is carbon fiber. Lexan windows. The truck weighs 2,650 pounds with driver and a full load of fuel. Size tires. It is a 33-17-5-15, and it's set up to go even bigger than that. How about your gear ratio? It is a 408. It's a quarter max uh, sheet metal fabricated uh, nine inch housing with a nine and a half inch ring gear from Mark Williams. Strange 40 spline gun drilled axles. Um, full uh, Tim McAmis four, adjustable four link with a set of uh, their wheelie bars. Um, the whole body is made from the original truck, including the roll pans made out of door skins, carbon fiber tailgate, uh, twin shroud parachutes. You and then got some Cadillac taillights in it? And then it's a 94 S10 with 94 Cadillac DeVille taillights in it, because it's got to have a little bit of style. There you go. Uh, Any, uh, 15 gallon rear fuel cell, all the fluids and everything that puke out of the motor go into the bed so they go behind the tires for safety. Um, truck is set up, like I said, for Hot Rod Drag Week's unlimited category. Tow hit, you tow your camper? This will tow anything you need it to tow. It's got the power to do it. Awesome. What will it tow down a quarter mile? Uh, the goal for this truck is to be sub six or sub seven seconds, so in the six second territory at well over 200 mile an hour. Have you had it on the track recently? We have not had the pleasure of running it yet. It's only got some street miles on it. Awesome. It's a handful on the street. Definitely beautiful. How long have you had it? I, it it's, this has been a five year project. Wow. We started this, it was delivered as a pile of tubing five years ago. And we, uh, me and my father worked some late nights and we welded this whole thing together ourselves, put the chassis on our rotisserie, painted everything, grafted the body on it. This is a factory roof skin. We pinched the top of the roof in, three quarters of an inch on each side to delete the roof rail. Um, we raised the top of the bedside six inches so you can clear the tire, because normally your S10 bedside is about down here. Grafted sections from the front fenders mm. of the original donor truck to build the wheel well opening. Because this body line and everything's been lowered down. Is it an original uh, extended cab? It's an original extended cab. It's um, nice. Like I said, all the all the metal work and everything on the truck is done with donor pieces. So that's from all the metal truck. from the this original. This is all, all steel, all here until you get to the doors. Wow. And the, the doors are carbon fiber, with all titanium hardware. So even your roof struts, your inner door panels, and everything are all titanium. All the floor is titanium, except for in the middle where it's carbon fiber. And you say it's a dual stage clutch? It is a uh, two disc billet, uh, what they call it, a centrifugal uh, 
centrifugally applied clutch, so it's got counterweights on it. So the higher the engine RPM, the higher the clamping load. So you rev this thing up with your foot on the clutch, it will rev, uh, shoot your foot clean off of it. What is so this is your, so this is a uh, fuel injector distribution block from Joe Blow Motor uh, Speed Shop out in Australia. Um, got this from Al uh, Mike at Alki Digger. Uh, you have eight EFI injectors that go through nozzles into your uh, port like a mechanical system. And then you've got, then you have an additional eight uh, billet EFI injectors with fuel rails down in the hat, or down in the intake manifold. That is a billet, one-off, three-piece, Oh, all, everything's overing the intake manifold. It's the only one like that in the world. Wow. This thing is completely EFI, starts like a regular car, comes on eight coil pack uh, smart coils off of Mercury Marine outboard. It's all controlled through the fuel tech computer. Pretty much the, the truck runs itself. It's got a uh, external electric water pump mounted on the radiator, which you can see there. Is that the front. fiberglass front end? This all, everything's carbon fiber. There's no fiberglass oh, in this thing at all. It is the so lightest it's of the light. So lighter than fiberglass, right? All, much lighter than fiberglass. The box this front end in came in weighed more than the front end does. The headlights work? Headlights work. Headlights, turn signals, high beam and low beam, and a horn. That's sweet. The only thing this thing doesn't have that it came from the factory with is the, wipe, is the windshield wipers. Wow. Yep, this truck is special ordered as a work truck. This is the reason we bought it. No ABS, no AC, no airbags from the factory in 1994. Which is why it was so sought after. So that way we can convert everything over. It yeah, has the same VIN tag the body came with originally. It's 94. It's a 1994. Uh, Chevrolet S10 extended cab. We just put extreme badges on it because mm -hmm. I like the extreme badge. It is pretty extreme. It's definitely, uh, definitely the furthest extreme I've taken one. Um, as you can see, all the tubing and everything in the roll cage when we did it, we flushed all the tube to the bottom so that all the floors and everything are well protected because the bottom of the truck is just as smooth as the top half. That way everything cuts to the air nice. No, no air or drag. Another cool pack. A lot of work, a lot of time, huh? A lot of work, a lot of time. A lot of work. Like I said, a lot of, a lot of wire. There are 115 <laughs> connections on just the engine itself. And that doesn't include any of the <laughs> external sensors or anything like that. Just to run the engine is 115 different wires. Mm, nice. So where are you located? We're at a Culpeper, Virginia, okay. just outside of DC. Is that Orange County? Uh, uh, it's actually a little bit north of Orange. Yeah. Okay. We're a little bit north of Orange. Uh, about, uh, I'd say probably about an hour and 20 minutes outside of Washington, DC. Um, just try to have a good time, cruise the thing around, getting it ready for drag week next year. We're putting together an even, even more aggressive motor for it for, for next season that'll be uh, Hopefully in the 22 to 2400 horsepower range. How many horsepower is this? This one's right at, made right at a thousand. It's like a thousand and three at the flywheel. Well, I appreciate you sharing it with us. Absolutely, so, I appreciate it. Have a good time today. Thank you. You as well. You as well. Well, until next time, Dream Goat Inc. Checking out. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click that bell for notifications. Thanks for watching.